we're almost back. So this is the end of the ride at the beginning of the video. Doesn't make sense, does it? Anyway, you'll notice I make a few references to James Morrison today, James Social Cycling, and he's doing a ride a day for mental health awareness or something. I don't know the exact details, but it's all there. Um, yeah, if you can bung him a couple of quid, why not? If you can't, at least go over there and give him some encouragement, you know? Uh, I think it's a good thing for everybody to, you know, help others achieve what they want to do. So, yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, James Morris and James Social Cycling. Not sure what happened there, we were supposed to come out for an easy, gentle ride. Something, something happened. <laughs> you started bit... chasing me. <laughs> That's a bit easy or gentle so far. No, I steeped ah. up. Anyway, me. we've come out towards Highcliffe today, instead of going round uh, through Christchurch and uh, Burton. The last time we came out here, yeah. it was tipping it down and blowing a hoolie. That's right. Yes, it was. It was, but uh, much better weather today. Right up there, though, isn't it? Yeah, just wispy clouds. Blue tits. Blue tits. Yes. New Milton. Well, we're out the back of New Milton. Sort of somewhere Ashley Cross-ish. 
Anyway. I've got to adjust this saddle. I seem to be slipping forwards. Oh well. Um, I was just thinking about, you know, why do I ride a bike? Why do I cycle? I guess everybody's got a slightly different reason. I mean, going out, doing efforts, things like that, just makes no sense to me whatsoever. But of course, the truth is, you do them naturally, because every time you go up a hill, you know, you push harder, every time you pull away from a set of lights, you know, it's an effort. It doesn't matter how you look at it. Um, then of course there's those that love to race or have goals. So of course that's when the intervals become a thing. And even though you may be putting 100% more effort in, of course you don't get 100% more fitness. But uh, if it makes you, helps you to achieve your goals, then it's 100% worth it. So I suppose for me it was a way of escaping from the computer. I've always been somewhat overweight, though I have to say, fit as a butcher's dog in my 30s, but yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, so it's kind of a stress reliever for me, but it doesn't matter how you look at it. I still do the efforts, <laughs> it's just they're hidden away within a ride rather than, you know, set to a stopwatch. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit of New Forest and loop back today. Uh, well, yeah, we'll go right. Well, yeah, avoid the main road then. But we'll go across the Burley and back. Yeah. yeah, and then that'll be about right, won't it? Okay. Yeah, it's not taking the mickey too much, is it? So we're going to stick to the road. Go a slightly different way. We're still within walking distance of places we, we need to get to if there's a problem. So, yeah. And I think the guideline police that seem to be hovering around on Strava and Facebook sort of have calmed down a little bit. Uh, so hopefully it's all going in the right direction and I mean that for everybody. I don't just mean for people who want to ride all day. So I just want to that. Yeah I mean it doesn't matter whether you're worried about the current lockdown situation or not sort of openly but there is a sort of underlying stress for sure but it's not it's not a problem but it's always just there in the background so it will be good to get back to some sort of normality pretty soon but we'll see how it goes got to do the right thing obviously so anyway into the new forest for a couple of miles and then loop back round towards Christchurch Filming your fat bits. Yeah, I know how to make myself popular. <laughs> Julie's always got a little box full of goodies with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's um, mostly 
sort of flat jacky chocolatey stuff today. So mm. yeah, very nice. Anyway, I think I just stick with a drink. I think I've probably eaten enough the last few weeks. I am feeling it now to be honest, so yeah. Just shows I need to ride my bike more because obviously once, twice a week it just isn't enough. So uh, yeah, it'd be good when I can go out again and you know not have to worry too much about how far and where we go. So there we go. Anyway, we've just come along from Wooden Bridge, Wooden Bridge to the Homesy Tea Rooms, and that's usually a really busy road. And actually, while we, you know, while I've been talking here, there has been loads of cars come by, but actually. We made it all the way along the road and only saw about two cars, which is very unusual. But, um, yeah, the A35 is just above us, so um, yeah, this is the junction, so maybe that's why there's a few more here. But anyway, long old drag up the hill to Burley next. Uh, now, normally we'd go through that gateway over there, and it's nice and flat because that's the old railway, it goes all the way through to uh, Burbush Car Park. But, um, we're going road and we're going hills. So it's those hidden efforts again, you see? Couple of gears, that's it. Oh, that's more like it. I should learn from James Morrison, really, to get the right gear when I'm going up and down hills. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have my gravel tyres for sure. Anyway, these will do for now. I think I'm in the right gear for this part of the road. If you want to see somebody who's rarely in the right gear and is bringing awareness to mental health this month, then check out James Morrison, James Social Cycling. He's out riding every day this month, May 2020. And uh, yeah, just give him some encouragement. If you can afford a few quid, chuck him a few quid. For some reason I keep sliding forward on the seat. I mentioned this. She said, yeah, it's your stomach pulling you forward. She's probably got a point, I'll be honest. I really need to get myself sorted out. Anyway. No, I think we were going to turn there. I might have just altered the route. Never mind. There we go. She's shouting now. I know we're turning now. <laughs> Digging a bell. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, we're going that way, are we? Okay. Denial knowledge. It's the only way. Got denial knowledge. Oh, are we going that way, are we? We were. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go that way, then, shall we? <laughs> oh, dear. So anyway, there you go. That's the sort of encouragement I get on a ride. <laughs> anyway, we're nearly back. Actually, it's been a really good night because 
it's nice and warm and there's just enough chill in the air to keep you cool, which is nice. It's a little bit windy if I was to say anything, but... Ah, rabbits. Rabbits inside the boat. Anyway, it's just good to be out. Yeah. Even if we have gone the wrong way. But not the wrong way, maybe right. just a different way. <laughs> no, we would have gone a different way. Oh, uh, okay. Because we haven't been able to cause my ages. No, that's true. I've started to think about food already. Yeah. Your homemade hummus. Homemade hummus, yeah. Bit of, bit of your homemade wholemeal bread. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of my soup. Yeah, a bit of your soup, yeah. yeah sounds lovely. Fair enough. Yeah, I've been doing the baking thing. Well, we both have. Julie's been more the cakes and scones. And I've been the sort of like the sourdough bread. And uh, yeah, it still seems to be cool, even though I've done a bit of it. But, you know. Uh, but uh, definitely piling on the pounds, so it's got to come to an end. <laughs> and you get fresh air. Fresh air. Get the heart pumping. Yep. And you're not eating. I'm not eating, that's right. Oh well. Probably if your phone never stops ringing. Yeah, that's the thing. I've always got to be available. Which is not always easy when you're riding a bike. Anyway. Chasing the birds, look. That's probably it for today. We're back to Christchurch at the moment. You've seen all this before, so I won't talk about that. Yes, we're doing the same route we always do, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she's getting at me again. Yeah, I'm yeah, she's hungry, she just wants to go home and eat. Anyway. Oh. Sorry? No, there's no car that I can see. <laughs> I like that bump. Which one? That bump there. That bump? Go, go, go. Don't tell me you're in the wrong gear. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. I'll get James Morrison to have a word with you about that. <laughs> Apparently Julie has to eat, which is a good thing. It's probably a bad thing actually because she tends to leave it a little bit too long until it's a bit late. But uh, it's good that she is actually stopping and making the effort, which is great. More chocolate? <laughs> Smoking like a leaf. Yeah, I bet. That was quite a, um, quite a ride up through there, you did well. Yeah, that's right. You need it when you need it. So, uh, two miles. It is exactly two miles from here. Or is it the Burger King over there? I'm not sure. Anyway, this roundabout, two miles. <laughs>